Hey everyone. What's up guys, unofficial MCU here. Hope you're all doing well and in this video we have some exciting news and an official confirmation into the regards of the Blade movie coming out next year, 2025. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop right on into it, break it all down for you guys, everything that we know and everything that we're anticipating right now. Before we do though, however, grab that subscribe button if you haven't already, as we're discussing and covering all types of Marvel related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel. So if you guys are into any of that, go ahead and grab that subscribe button today. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be taking a quick read from the Direct's article as an overall garnering source. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. As they read, Marvel's new Blade 2025 movie has gotten an official brief update amid its cancellation concerns. Now, the movie, of course, as I had mentioned, is actually supposed to come out next year, 2025, around November, and there's been a lot of worry amongst the fan base that it's going to be canceled, pushed back, or you know one of the two essentially happening honestly if for anything a lot of people are actually anticipating the movie to get simply canceled for the time being because it's already been pushed back so many times but neither of these scenarios worst case scenarios seem to be the case Amidst a lenity of issues and cancellation concerns, Marvel Studios' 2025 movie Blade is still supposedly on deck for release after a new official update. Almost no MCU project has seen as much of a production trouble as Blade since it was first announced at San Diego Comic-Con Hall H five years ago in 2019. Two directors, Bastian Tarek and Jan Demej, have come and gone, and there's been like seven different rewrites of the movie. The movie's official start date has been pushed back more and more and more over, over, and over a handful of times at this point. And so in late of last year, 2023, fans had heard whispers of uh, the vampiric solo outing was returning to the drawing board and being completely reworked from scratch. At years of work, still outside of Marshallah's Ali's involvement as the titular hero, updates on the film have been simply scarce. However, Marvel's Blade is still a go. Recently speaking with Entertainment Weekly as part of the press tour for Agatha All Along on Disney Plus coming out actually uh, a little bit later this month, Marvel Studios' head of streaming Broad Winderbaum had provided a new update on the status of 2025's Blade. As part of their discussion about writing the rulebook for horror within the MCU specifically, Winderbaum had explained how it all goes back to the filmmaker's intent on each specific project, and that's kind of the liberties that they give each filmmaker. He further had noted how the horror projects like Agatha All Along and maybe Marvel Zombies will be different than the horror on screen in Blade, for example, indicating Blade is not being cancelled for one, saying in quote, I think that it goes back to the filmmaker's intent. The horror on screen in Agatha is going to be completely different than the horror on screen in Marvel Zombies. It's going to be completely different than the horror on screen in Blade. It was different than the horror on screen in Moon Knight. It really depends on the vision of the filmmaker and what horror cues you're pulling from. And and that's not just, you know, a unique to horror, it's unique to any genre that we're really playing with. Obviously, there's many different ways to tell a story, of course. Ending that quote right there, that brief little just mention of Blade still says that it's definitely 110% on the table and in development with Marvel Studios, and that it should hopefully, you know, start filming any, you know, very, very soon. I want to say any day now, but I think that there would be more anticipation and maybe a little bit more build up to it. Hey, but even then, never say never, because we just saw that with Star Wars, of by which if you are a Star Wars fan, we have our Star Wars channel linked in the description down below. We just saw that with the Mandalorian and Grogu movie, hearing nothing about it for months on end after its announcement at the beginning of this year in January and then just like that they say oh yeah it's in it's in production and it's filming and we hadn't heard any other rumors or reports or you know industry you know insiders or scoopers talking or discussing about it because nobody knew anything about that so we very well and honestly fingers crossed would hear the same thing for the Blade movie it's just you know Marvel Studios says oh yeah by the way that is filming and that is in production I really think that in itself would be a super fun way to find out about it, especially after all of the problems that Blade's production has gone through within the last five years. This comes amidst the worries that the movie would be scrapped simply due to the numerous issues that it's seen during its simple pre-production, its script writing, and everything of that nature. Some rumors even hinted that Mashallah Ali would drop out as the star and producer of the project multiple times. So, will Marvel Studios Blade be released in 2025? It's still a bit of a question. You know, you know of course he mentions it. It's definitely 110%, as I had mentioned, on the table and in discussions and in development with Marvel Studios, of course, is, you know, our 
guess and our anticipation. But, you know, to see it still released next year in 2025, I think, is a whole nother game that in itself. And I honestly, personally, think that it is very much so doable. They would just have, have gotten to start on its production, like, yesterday, essentially. It took over three years for Blade to get its first official release date, which has since then, of course, been pushed back multiple times, unfortunately. Considering how many production positions need to be filled and that the story still needs to be you know, set in stone with its script, it seems almost impossible that it will be ready to release before 2025 does come to an end. It seems like it, but I would hold out hope for it, and I would hold my breath on this one. You know, if they need positions filled, I'll step in as a director straight up. Anyway, this also comes after 2024's Deadpool and Wolverine have brought back Wesley Snipes' version of the character as a multiversal variant, of course. He even uttered the line, there's only ever going to be one Blade, and it actually led a lot of fans, myself included, I'll be honest, to kind of worry about the state of whether he would, you know, replace Marshal Ali in the MCU before Ali truly not, like, going on with it, of course. Anyway, it's just kind of banter and just really joking around at the end of the day, and if for anything, tugging at the uh, production problems that Blade in itself, like, that Marshal Ali is going to be playing uh, really at that. No matter how it plays out, Marvel seems intent on bringing a fresh kind of horror to the franchise after starting to d dive into you know that genre and entities like Werewolf by Night, Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness, uh, you know Moon Knight, Agatha all along now, and even for Blade here as well. I think it's very exciting and very awesome to look forward to seeing those different like genres coming to a superhero franchise is something that we've just never seen before, and it's honestly super dope. Unfortunately, there's still concern about when it's going to be released and actually filmed and made, of course, with its overall production, particularly with less than three years left until the multiverse saga comes to a conclusion with Avengers Secret Wars. That in itself you know, feels pretty crazy to say out loud. Also, though, currently Blade is still scheduled to debut in theaters on November 7th of 2025. I think if they were going to push it back, we would have heard something by now because they just put out a flu of different announcements in the last couple of weeks between San Diego Comic-Con and then D23. That was just a couple of weeks ago. There were a different, uh, you know, release dates announced and confirmed and solidified. And well, Blade is still on that schedule for November 7th of next year. So we'll simply have to wait and see. This year, all being said, guys, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been Unofficial MCU. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. Peace out.